Viktória Azarenka. Fourteen and world number fourteen, Victoria Azarenka, in dropping just eighteen games en route, has sailed into her milestone fortieth career tour level final. Today, seeking her twenty-second singles career title. Arena Sabalenka. For world number 12 and third seed, Irina Sabalenka, it's been an uphill battle into her 11th career tour level final. Wow, where did that come from? First point of the match, how about that? Oh, nicely done. Really backing herself there, hitting that with such authority. Yes. Being so successful behind these breakpoint opportunities against her. You can see she makes her first or as little as possible. She did that well yesterday against Brady as well, didn't she? <laughs> Nicely done. Both Got players using every square Beating. inch of their opponent's court. Acknowledgement as well from Azarenka there, saying good shot. Courageous coming forward. Still work to do in this volley. There's not a lot of pace to work with. Needs to just use those hand skills. Excellent. Ouch. <laughs> Does that so well, doesn't she? For obviously from having uh, her son Leo and getting those fitness levels up to where they are now. Oh, a teaser there from Marina Sabalenka to secure her opening service hold. Successfully is that she's been able to work hard on her strengths and her strengths are striking, moving the ball around the court, being such a great competitor as well. She's six foot tall. Sabalenka gets the breakthrough that she requires. Service game to get those free points. Oh, that's tasty. Where did that come from? Moment of inspiration for Azarenka there, just bringing something completely different. It's an incessant barrage of smothering power from Sabalenka. Again, she breaks serve for the second time. A spectacular set of stunning tennis from the third seed, who's halfway home to taking this title in Ostrava. Sensational ball she's playing. 35 minutes of excellent tennis all round. 6-2, Arena Sabalenka snatches it. Head was sunken and, and, and looked almost, well, off colour. Slight illness. <laughs> Even there, just oh, it's a great return of serve, but she's just not seeing that ball. Under par? I don't know. Go for it. Under a lot of pressure physically and mentally all week. Oh. 
something that I think w one of the great things about playing doubles, and especially when you're in a tournament, you're playing singles and you're still in the doubles as well, helps. And it just deviates the pressure slightly. Oh, it's lights out. That's the I'm talking about. Oh, that's nice. That's the sort of calculated risk she's now got to take one all. Sidan threads the needle down the line with the backhand pass. Good focus from Sabalenka. So effective making the returns of serve. Making Azarenka fight for every single point. Champion back in 2012 and 13. Three times finalist at the US Open. Including this year as well. She's got a CV that's second to none. Sabalenka strikes again to take the early break in set number two. Another break point for Sabalenka here. And Arena Sabalenka is not in compassionate mood. Understandably, she wants this. Oh, yes. It's not over yet, folks. Victoria Azarenka breaks back in timely fashion. She fancies a pop at this final now. Oh, she finds the corner beautifully, sharing multiple breaks of serve now, these two. For the world number 12 and third seed, Irina Sabalenka, she's been grappling upstream all week, but tenaciously finds a way to win career title number seven, the inaugural JNT Banker Ostrava Open, having won. Doha in February, she bookends the year. Champion for the first time on European soil. A sweet moment to savour.